Welcome back to my channel. So my mom is on her way. I'm so excited. She's going to spend the week here. Um, and we are taking Camden this weekend to his soccer tournament. So we're going to be gone for a couple nights. Um, we'll take Trey with us because I'm nursing like around the clock with him. But Alex is going to stay home with Quentin. So super excited for that. Can't wait to see my mom. It's been a while. I am currently in the guest room. If you were wondering like what room I'm in, I rarely ever film in this room. Um, but I got a new mattress in, super stoked. Um, my mom's going to be so excited. And Alex and I just unboxed it and set it up. And it honestly is like amazing. Like I'm just like testing it out right now. And I know my mom's going to love it. And all of our other guests who sleep in the guest room, it's definitely an upgrade so so the new mattress is the sienna mattress it is a memory foam mattress 10 inches super comfortable and as you can see there's like a cover on top of the mattress and it's super breathable it's antimicrobial and it's got these little ridges in it for comfort i'm about to um put on the sheets and comforter and make the bed because my mom's gonna be here shortly but i'm super stoked for her to try it out tonight because it feels super comfortable all made we're ready to go I'm always so last minute when I get the guest room like ready bed made like towels stocked up in the bathroom like all of that I always do it literally like the day of like the day I have my guests arriving because I'm a procrastinator but I also did want to mention um, that Sienna has amazing perks as well they have a 10-year warranty and then they have a 180 night trial and on top of it, they have free shipping and returns. Sienna did give me a discount code for y'all. If you're interested, if you're in the market for a new mattress, I'm gonna have it down below in the description along with the link so you can check them out. Wait, where did we just pull up to, Quentin? Um, what are we doing? Um, um, are we gonna get your haircut? I forgot. You forgot? We're gonna go get that haircut for the first time. Are you excited? What you doing? You like this little jumper? <laughs> wow, you're good at that, honey. <laughs> you love this little thing, huh? My mom's in town right now and we just went to Trader Joe's. I picked up a bunch of new things and some of my staples. So let's just jump right in. Um, here is some extra sharp cheddar cheese. This is for Alex. Y'all know I'm dairy free. I can't have dairy because of Trey. So I'm not going to be eating that. Um, I got the kids these Trader Joe's chicken meatballs. They're really good and easy just to throw in like the air fryer to heat up. Um, I got a bunch of like sauces, the garlic spread dip that I'm obsessed with. This is my new favorite thing, the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. This is great. Like if you put a dollop in your pasta, it's so good. So picked more of that up. And then this vegan sour cream is a really great sour cream alternative if you're dairy free. Picked up this turkey flavored gravy. Um, so I'm doing Thanksgiving at my house this year and I can't cook. So I'm just trying to pick up a few things that'll like be easy. So I picked up some gravy. I got this banana bread mix. I'm gonna make banana bread. Got some organic mini peanut butter crackers for the boys. This I thought was so cute, gingerbread turkey trot cookie decorating kit for us to do like on Thanksgiving. Um, and then I bought some cornbread stuffing mix. This is what I'm gonna make for Thanksgiving. I love 
cornbread stuffing. I love stuffing in general. It's my favorite. Um, and then the multigrain pita bite crackers are so good. So I picked up more of those. My sister told me about this instant cold brew coffee. Um, she said it's so good. So I grabbed some of this to try. Um, and then here's some cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. If I don't buy like the fresh, I'm just going to use this. Um, I heard this was really good. The pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie um, from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to make those. We already popped this open because Quentin want, wanted one, but these are the strawberry bars, the cereal bars. They're really good. And then over here, I got some sauces. I got some more um, organic coconut aminos to use. I'm trying this spice out. This is the green and red hatch chili flakes. Got more of my crunchy chili or chili onion crunch that I love. Put this on everything. It's great on avocado toast and also in pasta. Picked up two of my favorite jalapeno sauces. Picked up some organic bone broth. Um, Quentin hasn't been feeling like 100% lately, so I'm going to try to get him to drink some of this, and then I might have some too. Um, okay, and then I got some pumpkin bagels. Got cornbread crisps. These are um, new and the guy at checkout said that everyone like loves them. They're sweet and salty cornbread snacks. He said they're really good in soup too. Um, these are also new for like fall, the harvest warm bowl. It's got sweet potatoes, kale, apples, cranberries, and a balsamic maple vinaigrette and you like warm it up. So it looks pretty good. And then the sweet potato pasta salad looks really good too. Both of these I can eat too. There's like no dairy in them. Picked up this broccoli kale slaw to um, throw together with dinner. Then we got some ground beef to make some hamburgers, the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. My mom's gonna make her like famous um, breakfast burrito for me tomorrow. So we needed this jalapeno sausage. And then we picked up some flank steak to make for dinner. Um, heard these were really good. So I'm gonna try these out, the Thai banana fritters. It's um, bananas with coconut milk, rice flour, and sesame seed batter, and they're vegan. So that looks delicious. These, the guy at checkout also said that someone that like came in and bought like 25 bags of these. So <laughs> hopefully they're good. The jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. Um, got some flour tortillas for the breakfast burritos. I've gotten these before. These are really good. The chili and garlic cashews. And then love these everything but the bagel, almond and cashew mix. And then I picked these up to try the dark chocolate sunflower seed buttercups. And they're nut free, peanut free, soy free, dairy free, like literally everything. <laughs> So hopefully those are good. Um, and then these uh, we popped open to try too. These are pretty good. The seasoned kettle chips. Um, it, they literally taste just like stuffing. So if you like stuffings, you'll like these chips. Um, and I think that is everything. As I try out the different like food, I will update you guys. Definitely follow me on Instagram because that's usually where I like hop on to try out like different foods and review it. Um, but I'm really excited for all of this. So I've officially decorated for Christmas. <laughs> Did it so early this year, but I'm really happy because everything looks so cute and I'm not 100% finished, but I feel like I'm like 75, 80% finished. So I just need to share um, like what I've done so far and I'll show you guys some of the new decor that I picked up. But the most exciting part is that I did get trays stocking in. I got this from Pottery Barn. I was worried that they wouldn't have the same um, like faux fur one that I got. I think I got these, did I get these last year or two years ago? Um, that I got before, I was worried that they weren't gonna have it in stock, but they did bring it back this year. And I just think they're like the prettiest stockings ever. So this is what we're gonna use like for the rest of our lives. <laughs> um, one thing that I do wanna get is these are like the little stocking hangers that I have. I don't have one for Trey um, because this came in like a four pack and I got it like a while ago, but I do wanna get one of the ones that has um, like a little, I don't know, like a little cute sign or design up here and then just has like the little hooks built in and I'm trying to find one for five. So if you guys know um, anywhere that I can look to get those, let me know down below. I looked on Amazon, but I found one that was really cute. It was over a hundred dollars and I was like, I am not paying that for a stocking hanger. Um, but I have my little reef up here. I got that from Kirkland's. He is from Hobby Lobby. These trees are from Kirkland's. This is from Target. These are from Kirkland's. And there was actually a third one, but I put it away because it was just too much. I got this guy from Home Goods so long ago. He came from um, Bethesda actually with us. This is, oh my gosh, Quentin <laughs> keeps putting rubber bands on this little deer. But this is from 
Kirkland's, these I think are from Hobby Lobby, these trees. So that is what the fireplace looks like right now. Um, it's similar to last year, but I did get rid of a few things because I'm trying, I'm going for the more like simple look this year. Um, and also I'm bringing a lot more green into my Christmas decor, which I'll show, I'll show you guys. But yeah, I am still looking for a stocking hanger for right here. And then I think this will be complete. And then over here, um, I'm not crazy about <laughs> putting the, um, what is this called? Why do I always forget what it's called? Um, like this green stuff up top. I think I want to put it down here, which is what I did last year. And then I want to find something cute for up here, but I don't know what it is. I did find a really um, cute red like tin train. Like it said, like North Pole on it. It was really cute and like classic looking. And I found it at Kirkland's, but it was over $100 and I didn't want to pay that. And it was big and like long. So I feel like it would have been really cute up here. Um, garland that's what it's called the garland this is actually two different garlands mixed um and i think i want to put them down here i did originally put one up here but it was just like too much so i took it down but then i just have like one of these little trees i think this is from target i've got my two little nutcrackers don't even remember where they're from they're super old this little guy i think is from kirkland's and then um over here i got this from home goods a long time ago and i love this tree this is from Target, and then I didn't really do anything up here. I still have this little faux plant up there, so. Still looking for something to put on the coffee table. Um, I have these cute little trees that I got from Target last year, but I want to put like a maybe like a bowl of like potpourri or something like that. Um, I'm not really sure, but I need something for the coffee table. Um, but these are the new pillows that I got. I'm, I told you guys I'm bringing a lot more green into my decor this year, and I love it. So, um, I've had these pillows on my couch forever. These are like super old now. Um, and I think this is from Home Goods. It was like a set of two new pillows I got from Kirkland's. I love this green. So pretty. This is from Target. Then I have this really cute throw from Target. It has some green in it. Love this new lumbar pillow I got from Target with the trees on it. Those are old, I believe. Those are from Home Goods. It was a set of two. And then I just threw this like white knit blanket because um, the kids always sit on the couch. So I always throw that on there. And then I've got the pillows over here as well. And then this is actually from Target. I got it in a PR package last year. So um, just put that on there for a little bit more green. But I think the couch looks really cute. I love it. I just want to find something for the coffee table. Um, and then we have Trace Swing over here. We need to replace these blinds because Quentin has broken off the blinds. Um, and then I need to get, I need to move this thing. Um, this is where we're going to be putting the Christmas tree, which is where we always put it. Um, we just haven't done it yet. And then I got this really cute, um, like tree collar. It's seagrass from Kirkland's and I think it's so pretty. So I'm really excited about this. Picked this up from Target. So it's just like a little mat, but I love the green plaid. I think that's so cute over here on the breakfast nook. Um, I've had this bowl. I got this from Kirkland's last year. It's like this huge wooden bowl. It's really pretty, but found this really beautiful um, potpourri at Kirkland's. And I love all of these colors, like the cranberry colors with the pine cones and then like the little green leaves, um, pine leaves. I think this is beautiful. So loving this. Kitchen is a mess right now, um, but I haven't finished the kitchen. I did hang up this little cranberry wreath that I always hang up here. And then these little towels I think are really cute to tie everything together. Um, and then I don't, I need to put something here. So usually I don't have this candle here, but I just put it out because I wanted um, the house to smell like coffee. It's, it smells so good. Um, I need to find something for here and I don't know what to put here. Last year I had like a um, centerpiece with like cranberry coming out and it was like way too much. So I'm not doing that again. So I need to find something more simple, but still like bring in some like Christmas colors. That is what we're working with right now. But I really like so far how everything's turned out. I think it looks really pretty. What do you think of your haircut, babe? Good. Bad. Bad? <laughs> what? You don't like it? No. I thought you loved it. It's so short, you guys. I can't, like, I cannot get used to it. It's honestly messing with me. And this morning when he came out of his room, I didn't even recognize him. <laughs> what do you think, Quentin? I think you're cute. You're always cute no matter what. 
Look at me, honey. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that like it was actually when we got it cut, it was much longer, but it just like didn't look right. It was in an Mama. awkward stage. Mama. So we went the next day and got it cut even Mama. shorter. And I need to put like some kind of like Mama. gel or pomade in here. Mommy. What, honey? I'll do it up. You gotta finish your chicken. Here, take another bite, babe. <laughs> oh, that's a big bite. Big bite. <laughs> He's such a big boy now. Oh my gosh. And then look at this little cutie. You need a haircut too. Your hair's getting really long, honey. Mm -hmm. Right? Are you ready to um, toss your high chair? Mm -hmm. You ready to sit at the table like a big boy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this. I actually have a new one that I haven't unpacked yet. It's for Trey. Um, and I haven't unpacked it yet. Obviously, Trey is not eating like people food yet. But I do need to get Quentin out of the high chair. I know he's way too big for it. It's just like, it's nice because he's a messy little boy. And it's much easier to clean than getting food all over this situation. So I've held out for a while. But I think it's time <laughs> for him to finally. I mean, he does sit here sometimes. But most of the time when he's got like ketchup or like mac and cheese or anything messy, I just put him up here. Say goodnight. Say we're going to end the vlog. We're going to go to bed. Can you smile? Can you give him a smile? Who is that cute baby? Can you say good night? Say good night. I'm so tired. I gotta go to sleep.